everybody welcome back to my channel how many of you guys watched the coronation did anybody watch it um hubby and i watched some of it and uh actually i thought it was awesome he did too um i've always liked uh king charles now and uh, i've liked him since i was probably about 13 or 14. that's when i read my first book about him and um i followed him my whole life basically and uh yeah it was nice to see him um uh get coronated and uh i really enjoyed that i really love england um and saw a lot of familiar places and uh i just thought it was so so cool and uh yeah it just um it really touched me it made me think about the queen being gone um and i'm sure he was thinking about that that day too but um uh, nobody can throw a party like the British people can. And so, um, I really thought it was awesome. Had a good time watching it. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you, you guys caught some of it because it was a lot of fun. So, moving on, I got a, a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, um, I got some good stuff today that I hadn't seen before. And, um, first of all, I'm going to start with, um, some magazines. And, um, I thought this was pretty good, cool. It's TV Guide Magazine Puzzler, 1970s TV crushes. And it's got David Cassidy on here. That's pretty cool. Farrah, uh, John Travolta, uh, Maureen McCormick, et cetera, et cetera. And I just thought that was pretty cool. It's, um... Looks like that on the back. It's got all kinds of little uh, puzzles and things using uh, people from the 70s. Movie stars or TV stars from the 70s. But um, yeah, I thought this was uh, kind of cool. And I'm going to take that with me to use in the car whenever we go on vacation. I just thought it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Oh, was that like Garrett? Ah, oh, yeah, it is. I used to like him when I was a kid. Oh, he was so cute. <laughs> but anyway, so I grabbed this one. I thought that was awesome. I found another one, and it looks like um, this. What's it called? Re Remind? Remind. Okay. The post is, a, the past is a blast, okay? Where are they now? 40 of your favorite stars. Ah, look, there's Beaver. Um, anyway, <laughs> he's waving at me, waving from over there. Good night! I guess he doesn't want to be heard on camera. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh... This one's pretty cool, too. Oh, it's got Butch Patrick in it. That's cool. Um, Eric Estrada seems to be in a lot of these. And Chips. I don't know how many of y'all remember that. Oh, and Maureen McCormick. The Brady Bunch. God, that's my favorite show. It's always been my favorite show. Still my favorite show all these years later. That is the best show ever. Love it, love it, love it. And there's Lassie. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I used to watch that. God, I was mm, wet behind the ears when I watched that. I don't even remember hardly anything about that. Just that Lassie and Timmy were in it. But anyway, <clears throat> it looks like that. That on the back. I thought that would be cool. And this one is TV Guide Magazine. Big book of TV trivia. Over 500 brain teasers. And it looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of familiar faces on the front. It was funny, when I was a teenager, I used to love to go through the TV Guide and see if any of the stars that I liked were gonna be on any shows <laughs> that week or, or whatever, or to see what was happening on some of my favorite shows for the episode that week, and yeah. Good times, good times. And I had my um, room was wall-to-wall -wall movie stars and rock stars. It looked like, literally, like um, my walls were wallpapered. 
and um, pictures from uh, Tiger Beat and 16 or, or whatever that magazine was called and Teen Beat and all those kinds of magazines. I had it just wall to wall. I mean, they just touched all over my walls and my parents uh, never said anything about it. I don't know why. But um, my mom had a um, really girly type room for me with a bed with one of that, those canopies and all when I was very young. And um, But then when I got to be um, preteen, I started uh, putting up pictures. And as I got older, teenager, I just covered it. Everything was covered. Go over there, baby. I don't have any room. And the next thing I got, I found some Lisa Frank uh, stickers. And I picked those up. I'm sure that those have probably been around a bit. Um, I thought they... Is that the front or the back? Oops, I had it backwards. Sorry. But I thought these were really cute. Lots of cute, cute stickers. Look at that. I think those are awesome. I like these. <laughs> in the store, I was opening one and looking through it, and I saw where somebody had just taken this one and stolen it out of the sticker book. They left everything else but just taking that one, <laughs> which was strange. But anyway, so, yeah, there's a lot of stickers in that. Pretty cool. Um, I found some LOL surprise dolls, and I thought these were very cute. You get four sheets, over 150 stickers. Looks like that. Um, those are really cool. I like the puffy ones. They got some awesome hair. Look at that hair on her. That's pretty cool. Love those. And then these. Those are nice. These are really cute. I might have to keep these for myself. And those, and those. So I thought those were adorable, really adorable. And the next ones I got, um, these are new. I found some new stickers. Um, I got the space theme ones. I thought those were cute. I like the little alien and the... Um, UFO. I think those are cute. Oh, but well, that one is really cute. I love that one. <laughs> and um, I got these. These are adorable. The little back to school ones. Those are new. Like the school bus and the globe. And I got another set. This is like um, a school one as well. And I guess, what is that supposed to be? I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's got lines on it. Maybe it's a paper pad or something. Look at that cute little ruler. Isn't that adorable with a little giraffe on it? I think that's cute. So cute. Oh, and I just noticed the little backpack. It's got an elephant on it. That is cute. I love that. And uh, the next set I got, um, it's also new. Um, it's these animals, and I think they are adorable. Look at the bear. He's so cute. And look at that one. I like that one, too. They are really cute. And the bunny, and look at the frog. Yeah, so these are awesome. They had some more that looked like they probably, um, you know, kind of went along with these. Um, they had, like, um hearts different kinds of hearts but um i didn't get those i just basically got these four i thought these were just really really adorable and the next thing i got um i got another one of these i picked up one i showed y'all the other day and i finally got batteries and put it in it and tried it and i decided to go back and get another one in case that one breaks because that thing is really awesome. If you can get one of these, go get it. Because um, I don't know if it does anything, but 
I know one thing, it made my face feel so good when I um, ran it over my face. It just massaged it, and it just felt like it improved the circulation. And what, Daisy? There's no room, baby. Improved the circulation in my face, and um, it says to do it before you put, like, your um, lotions and potions and things on, but... Um, I liked it so well, like I said, I had to get two in case that one breaks. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, I got a pair, well, actually two pair of little, um, well, one's a bear, I think that's a bear, and one's a dog, or maybe they're both dogs. I don't know. But anyway, little baby socks. And no, I do not have a baby anymore. And no, none of my children have babies. And I don't know anyone with a baby. The reason I got these is because I was hoping that I could try to put those on Bismarck's feet so that he doesn't burn them um, on the hot pavement. Because um, he did that last year when my husband took him out. I told him not to take them out because the pavement was too hot that day. And he did it anyway. And so he burned his feet and was miserable for days. Um, I bought him some of the little booties for dogs, but, um, uh, from PetSmart actually this week, but it was no way in heck that he was going to wear those things. I tried to get one of them on his feet and he acted like he was going to bite me, which he doesn't bite and has never bitten me, but he acted like he was going to, or like he was going to put his teeth down onto my hand in a forcible kind of way, but not enough to hurt me. That's the way he acted. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try these little socks and see how long he will keep those on. And uh, looks like he would have enough sense to know that, hey, this is helping my feet, but you know, he's a dog. So anyway, I got those. I, um, I'm kind of skipping all around because the lady mixed all these bags all up. Um, I picked up some treat bags. I thought these were really cute with the polka dots, the red with the white polka dots. They had it with green and white polka dots. They had it with green and stripes and red with stripes. And I like this one best, and I'm going to use this in my junk drawers. So, that was bag number one. And bag number two... I found um, some new stuff. I got this Splenda coffee creamer in sweet cream flavor. Um, I've never seen this in there before. I use Splenda in my coffee usually in the mornings. Um, occasionally if I'm somewhere and they don't have Splenda, I'll use sugar. And sometimes here at home I'll use sugar. But most of the time I use Splenda. And... Um, I do like uh, liquid creamer. I don't like the powdered stuff. So they had this, and I decided I would try it. Um, they also had it in, um, was it hazelnut? They had it in one other flavor, but I like the sweet cream. So I thought I would try that, see if it's any good. So, yeah. Um, I picked up these. Uh, it's an eight-pack scouring sponges. I needed some more of these, and I don't know, but I haven't bought any in a while, but to me, these look like they have shrunk. You tell me. Are they smaller than they used to be, or or is it just me? They look like they've gotten smaller. Um, I found some new candy there. Um, I got some chocolate-covered caramels, Werther's Original. Yeah, looks like that, and I love caramels. I love Werther's caramels, and I love chocolate. So, if you put those two together, mm -mm, that's got to be really good. And I would do a taste test, but um, I have my things on my teeth, so I can't do that. Can't eat with them here. But I grabbed a couple of those, because I'm going to give my mom and dad one, and I'm going to keep one. I also found um, the Snack Club brand, um, the Tahine watermelon rings. I've had the ones that are um, peach, and I, I really like those. It's, it's kind of a weird thing. They're um, 
it's kind of like an acquired taste. I don't know if you've tried them before, but um, my son's fiance got them when I visited them. And uh, so she, she let me try them. And I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like that or not. It's kind of, I'm not sure. I said, give me another one. <laughs> so I tried several and then I decided, yeah, I did kind of like it. She had, she had gotten tired of them. And so then she gave me the bag. And so I ended up eating what was left. But um, then when I came home, I bought some for myself. And then the last time I ate them, they made me sick. So I don't know if I ate too many of them at once or what, but I've never seen them in watermelon. And um, so anyway, I just decided I'd try them. They might be horrible. And I wish I'd left my things on my teeth so I could do a taste test and let y'all know how these are. But I'm interested in seeing if they're good. Um, next food thing I got, I got one of these huge bags of Coastal Bay cinnamon flavored candies. I love these. My parents love them. Um, yeah. I got a bag of those. Um, I also found some Victor Allen's iced coffee lattes and I got it in caramel. And so I'm interested to see if this is good. I like lattes, cold and hot. And so, yeah, hopefully that'll be tasty. I'm gonna give it a go. Um, about uh, the doggy, some chicken flavored nuggets. I've never seen these before. So I got those for them to try. And they would do a taste test for y'all now, but, um, I'm not going to open this at the moment, so yeah. And two of them apparently have, no, nope, one of them has disappeared. I think he has gone and gotten in bed with his daddy. And the next thing I got, I picked up some coconut milk mango facial wipes. I have the watermelon and mint, and I'm almost out, and I like to have those occasionally. And so I thought I'd give these a go. And the packaging is really, really pretty. I like the blue and the yellow together. It was very festive. So, I grabbed that. That's bag number two. And I am really, really excited about trying that. I hope it's good. <laughs> and let's see. The next thing I got, I got some more graduation stuff for my son. Uh, we can't have like a little graduation get together um, at home because he has to go to Montana for six weeks. So um, I bought some more things to go what I already have so that we can have like a dinner and cake and stuff when he comes back. And I found these plates and they match the decorations I bought, stickers and decorations. So I grabbed those. That's a pretty big size plate. You could like eat dinner off of that. That's a nice size plate. So I grabbed that. I got some of the uh, congrats grad cups. So there won't be any dishwashing. We can just throw this stuff away or whatever, recycle it, whatever. Um, and the napkins, got three napkins that go with it. And I thought that I would just get this for fun to put on the table. Yeah, I thought that was cute. So, yeah, I got that for him. And... Okay. Uh, the last bag... My dogs will want me to give them their bedtime snacks. I got a big bag of this Brim's cheese popcorn. Because occasionally... I like something like that, and I thought this would be good to have in the hotel room uh, when we go to see my son for graduation or um, to eat in the car, whatever. So I grabbed that, and if I decide I don't want it, my mom likes it so she can have it. <laughs> I also um, found some more Barbie clothes. And unfortunately, they only had one other kind, but they had several packs of it. And it is apparently, yes, she is a hairdresser. 
You got your little outfit. Look at the cute little, looks like she's got clips in her pocket and the hair dryer and brush. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's cute. So I grabbed that. I got, um, this was new. I don't think I've, well, I think it's new. Um, I had bought the fire station and I think the police department before and maybe a construction one, but I don't think I've seen the airport one before. And so I grabbed this. That's a cute little toy. And the last things I got, I bought Dear Hubby some coffee. I've seen somebody else um, haul this. I know she got the Jim Beam. I think it was Thrifty Tiffany. I like to watch her. And so, yeah, I got that one, the bourbon vanilla coffee. Actually, I don't know if he will drink that because he doesn't like flavors, but he might try it. I don't know. And the Harry and David breakfast blend. And this one called Junior's Most Fabulous Brooklyn Blend Medium Roast Ground Coffee since 1950. And I don't know anything about this company. I've never heard of it, but um, apparently it is a name brand um, type of coffee. It says on the back, all you want as you want it. Harry Rosen. I don't know who that is. Maybe that's who discovered this or started this company. I don't know. But anyway, if you're going to make a nice little gift basket for somebody, you could get all of that like coffee. You could get all of these coffees from Dollar Tree. You could get couple of these, the two different ones they have. You could get some kind of, um, I don't buy the cookies and stuff there usually, but you could get some kind of nice cookie from there, um, maybe a little chocolate, whatever, some uh, little fancy spoons, even if it's just, um, I mean, you could even use the plastic ones because um, you're just going to do a quick stir. Or you could buy some little stirrers or whatever and put those in there. You could buy a cute little mug at Dollar Tree, and you could just set up a cute little um, um, gift basket for somebody. Oh, and you could put in one of those um, coffee um, towels, um, kitchen towels, a coffee kitchen towel. That would be really cute too to put in there. You could line the basket with that or just have it, you know, stuck in the basket some way. But yeah, that would be a really cool thing to do for somebody that likes coffee. And you could get some, uh, you can even get some of those um, uh, peppermint uh, spoons, which uh, they do have at Christmas time, whatever, um, and put something like that in there. So that would be pretty cool. But anyway, that's all I have, guys, for you. I have um, a lot of stuff here I need to put away. And I have um, some things to take care of with the dogs. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why there's a light back there. I have no idea. It's dark outside. Huh. I don't know what's up with my deck. Maybe it's a monster out it's better tucked down so I can't see <laughs> oh no <laughs> anyway I'll hit it in the head with um, all these bags of stuff yeah I could throw that that would make something good I could throw it. okay and the dog is upset because I have moved something from in the house outside and put it on the deck and he doesn't like it being out there because he knows it's supposed to be in here. So yeah, dogs are kind of weird sometimes. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I um, post again. And uh, I hope everybody has a nice night. Um, I hope the rest of your week is nice. And I guess that's all I gotta say. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.